home because you can't even open the door without bashing the door next to the car next to you or damaging your own vehicle. Well, we have an app. Basically, you just press an app on the smartphone. The vehicle will recognize that you enabled the app on your phone. The engine starts. The car pulls out automatically. The only thing that he's doing is just pressing the drive button on the smartphone. The car is driving itself. Once the car is fully parked, or pulled out of the parking lot, we'll be able to open the door or the trunk and put the luggage in the car. And this is all through just the app on his phone. Just pressing the one button that says drive on the smartphone. And he was able to fit his luggage in and get in the car, no damage done. The other feature we're going to illustrate for you during the parking lot function of our piloted parking technology would be when you are out in a congested area, you're desperately looking for a parking space, circling the vicinity, you have no idea where the structures are or any empty spots are. We have a solution. You press the button on the center console of the vehicle, park mode, which will enable this feature. It'll automatically sync with our MMI navigation system in the acoustic sensors on the vehicle will send out a signal and it will use the navigation to direct you to the closest parking structure that has a vacant space. And it will tell you when to stop. And not only that, we'll make sure that the space, the dimensions of the space that your car will fit into. So not only did it find you the parking structure, direct you to it, find you a space. We also know that that space will fit your car. So if you have a larger vehicle, a Q7 for example, which is a large SUV, the last thing you want to do is find a spot and then when you go to pull in, there's not enough room for your vehicle. This team saves you a ton of time. At this point, he just enabled the app on his phone. The car is now driving himself. The only thing that he's doing is pressing the drive button on the phone. He is not steering the car with the controls on the phone. The car is doing that on its own. Just the button on the phone is being pressed down the entire time for any reason. If he wanted to stop the vehicle, he could just take his finger off that button on the phone and the car would come to a complete stop. So at this point, the sensors are doing the work measuring the distance, the width, to get into the spot between the two cars. Again, he is just pressing that button on the smartphone, supervising it just to make sure. Although if anything is in the path, the car would stop automatically. We have a secondary safety feature that would allow you to stop the car by just taking your finger off the button on the phone. The car will continue to adjust forward and back, make sure it's in the spot. Once it's conveniently parked in the spot, the lights turn off, engine turns off, the car is locked. Simple as that, all with the touch of the